in this video i will show you another example of general directly pass circuit this will be the last example of this series draw the output waveform for the following clip pass circuit for this given clip pass circuit we have to draw the output waveform we will take the output across this terminal to this terminal in this circuit we are applying input voltage here with positive peak plus 20 and negative peak minus 20 volt we will assume the built-in potential of diode vd1 let's say equal to 0 0.7 volt the built-in potential of general diode equal to 0 0.8 volt for our convenience now let me show you how to draw the output waveform consider the positive half cycle during positive half cycle of the applied voltage you will see this terminal should be positive or at higher potential and this terminal should be negative or at lower potential this negative terminal will be connected with the n side of the diodes the positive terminal will be connected with the p side of the diodes so input voltage vi should put d1 and z1 in forward bias if we want to get the current flow in this direction during positive half cycle you have to understand that we have to keep both the diodes in forward bias as a result we have to apply a forward voltage of minimum 1.5 volt between this terminal to this terminal so let's say this is that 1.5 volt the demarcation line as long as vi will be less than 1.5 volt we will not get sufficient voltage to put both the diodes in forward bias so although one of them will be in on state let's say other will be in off state as a result none of them will conduct so both z1 and d1 will be in off state so in this region z1 and d1 are in off state but when vi will be equal to or greater than 1.5 volt that means I am talking about this portion of the applied voltage. In that case, D1 and Z1 will be in forward bias. So if I consider this region of applied voltage, D1 and Z1 will be in forward bias. In that case, we can replace that Z1 with a voltage source of 0.8 volt and d1 with a voltage source of 0.7 volt the value of voltage sources will be equal to the built-in potential of corresponding diode if i replace the diodes with corresponding built-in potentials i will get a circuit like this here you will see between this terminal to this terminal i have two voltage sources connected in series and their positive terminals are connected with the positive terminal of vo negative terminals are connected with the negative terminals of VO therefore VO will be the sum of these two that means VO will be fixed at 1.5 volt in this region from this point to this point output will be fixed at 1.5 volt but when VI will be less than 1.5 volt Z1 and D1 will be in off state therefore I can replace Z1 or d1 with open circuit if i replace the diodes with open circuit you will see i will get a circuit like this so in this open circuit the current i will be equal to zero as a result i r drop across this one kilo ohm resistor will be equal to zero so this applied voltage will be appeared across the output terminal so vo will be equal to vi or i can say that vo will follow the same waveform as the output voltage as long as vi will be less than 1.5 it will take this wave shape okay because your input is changing from this point to this point like this output will follow the same wave shape you will get the better view of output waveform in the simulation now consider the negative half cycle of the applied voltage during negative half cycle this terminal will be at high potential and this terminal will be at lower potential the negative terminal will be connected with the P side of the diodes and a positive terminal will be connected with the N side of the diodes. Therefore, you will see during negative half cycle, input will try to put the diode D1 in reverse bias and general diode Z1 also in reverse bias.
now see the d1 is ordinary pn junction diode if i talk about typical 1n400 7 ordinary pn junction diodes those diodes has avalanche breakdown voltage greater than 40 volt sometimes it ranges from 50 to 100 volt but here our applied negative maximum voltage is minus 20 volt so i can say that for this minus 20 volt avalanche breakdown will not occur in diode d1 that means during negative of cycle the diode d1 pn junction diode d1 will never conduct or it will always be in off state as the diode d1 will be in off state i can replace it with an open circuit like this once d1 will stop conducting any current you will see this total circuit will be an open circuit in that case the current i will be equal to zero during entire negative half cycle that means during this negative half cycle output voltage vo will be equal to vi because i equal to zero i r will be equal to zero general diode z1 will not conduct current so it will also be in off state so here vo will be equal to vi during negative half cycle that means output and input will have the same waveform with negative maximum minus 20 volt so this will be our complete output waveform during positive cycle up to 1.5 volt it will follow the input voltage after that it will get fixed at 1.5 after that output will follow the input voltage during the negative half cycle okay that's it so this is our circuit in the simulator let me run the simulation if I run the simulation, you will see during positive half cycle, we get the current flow in the circuit. During negative half cycle, there is no current flow in the circuit. Now see, during negative half cycle, output get merged with the input waveform. But during positive half cycle, from 0 to 1.62 volt, output follows the input voltage. After that, output get fixed at 1.62. 6 to volt during positive half cycle so this will be our output waveform for the given clipper circuit